Hi guys, so for today's video I'm going to do something that I haven't really done before I guess. Um, I decided I wanted to do a kind of more chatty video because I haven't really done much of them recently and I really enjoy watching them and I enjoy filming them so I thought I'd do one for you and as you can see by the title I'm going to talk to you about my summer goals I guess, sort of the things I want to do through summer, what I want to accomplish, my plans things that I know are set in stone, things that are possibly going to be happening and obviously these things I will probably update you on whether it's in main channel videos or vlogs or on my social media. By the way all my social media are linked down below so if you ever want to look for me on social media they are always linked down below. Yeah let's just get started. <laughs> the first thing is something I know is definitely happening unless something changes but I'm pretty sure this is happening. Next weekend I am going away for a few days I'm going away from Saturday to Wednesday I think. I think it all depends on the weather to be honest, it might be longer, it might be shorter. We're just going to see how it goes <laughs> because obviously if the weather's horrible it's not going to be as nice. There'll still be things to do though because there's a lot to do. I haven't actually told you where I'm going. I'm going to Breen. If you don't live in the UK you might not know where that is or even if you do live in the UK you might not have heard of it before but I've been there a few times. If I just rub my lipstick off. Nope, we're all good. <laughs> Oh god. I've been there a few times and I've loved it every time. They have a beach, they have arcades, they have a pier, they have a lot of things really. Um, there's plenty to do. Oh. And there's a lot of places nearby that we can visit. There's plenty of things to do basically so I don't think we'll get bored. Especially if it's nice and warm we probably won't do much anyway. We'll just sit in the sun on the beach wherever we can find. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I'm a very homey person, so I like to be at home a lot, so I sometimes get homesick easily, so going away for a few days sometimes scares me a bit, but that is one of my summer goals, to try and get over that fear a little bit more. And I am actually really excited at the thought of being away in Breen for a few days with good friends and family, so I think it's gonna be really good. So I'm actually really excited for that. I am going with my mom, my dad, and my sister Olivia and my friend Sean and her family and yeah I'm really excited. <laughs> the next thing on my list is something that has been discussed but it's not definite but it's definitely something that I really really want to do especially this summer I feel like I just need to do it. I want to go away with Jordan I've explained that in a previous video we've left it a bit late because we didn't couldn't really afford it any earlier on um, so things are going to be more expensive now. But even if we go away for a few days, that's still enough. I've been looking at going to Brighton. Even if I had to go by myself, I was still looking into it, which is another big step for me because it's not something I do. I don't usually go anywhere like that on my own, especially that far. But then I decided, oh, maybe it'd be a nice place for me and Jordan to go together. So he's coming over next week and we're going to like have a look at things and price things up and see if it is possible and if it will work but hopefully it does because I would love to go. I know I don't just want to go because that's where all the YouTubers live and I want to meet them all. Obviously if I ran into them that would be amazing but I'm not saying that's going to happen but I've seen obviously a lot of Brighton in their videos and it looks absolutely amazing and a lot of people have said that it's a really nice holiday destination. So even if we just go there for a long weekend or a week, whatever happens, we're going to look into it and fingers crossed we're going to go to Brighton this summer, which would be insane. It is one of my life goals, really. I know that sounds lame because it doesn't sound like a massive deal, like it's Brighton, it's not like going to South Africa or India or anything. It's literally just going to a seaside town in the UK but it's really intrigued me for a long time and I think going there would make me feel amazing it make me feel like I've really accomplished something because it is, has been one of my main goals and it's something that I wouldn't usually be brave enough to do especially if I wasn't with my family so if I go on my own or with Jordan I feel like that will be a massive accomplishment and it will be an amazing holiday because it's a beautiful place from what I've seen on videos and pictures so Let's hope that happens because that would be awesome. But if not, it will happen sometime in the future, I can guarantee. Like I said, I'm a very at home kind of person. But some of my close friends are home from uni at the moment or some of my friends are off to uni for the first year in September or October or August, whenever they're going. Some of my old school friends that have already been at uni for a year and they've come back and I've already spent a bit of time with them but hopefully there'll be more things going on through the summer. 
so we can see each other. There's some of my friends that are going off to uni for the first time this year, including Jordan. So obviously I'll be spending a lot of time with him anyway over summer. That is another thing. I want to spend quite a lot of time with him before he goes away. So that's another reason why I want to go to Brighton because it would be a nice long time to spend together, just us two, before he goes away. And yeah, there's quite a few of my friends going off to uni and it'd be nice to sort of see them before they go and say our goodbyes, I guess. But it's not like a full on goodbye because I'm going to see them again soon, like when they come back, possibly. Um, well, hopefully anyway. Um, so yeah, obviously catching up with friends I haven't seen in a while and seeing those who I'm not going to see for a long time. Sorry if the camera angle's changed. I think I just knocked the camera slightly, so the angle might have slightly shifted a bit since the last clip, but just ignore that. We'll carry on. Mm, it doesn't feel right. The next thing I have on the list is to go on more days out. On Tuesday, the 19th of July, I don't know why I'm telling you specific dates, but basically I went out for the day with Jordan and his family and we went to Tenby for the day which is in Wales if you didn't know. It's a very long way to travel in a day but it was a beautiful place and I really enjoyed the day. So I want to do more days out through the summer, obviously not all of them are going to be that far away. Just little days out with friends and family friends, close friends like a lot of the people we spend time with a lot, maybe going out for the day, whether it's somewhere really close. But there's a lot of local places, or semi-local, I guess, is that how you explain it? I don't know. Um, that we have visited frequently in the past and it'd be nice to go there with close friends and family. Just little nice days out, especially if the weather's nice. I want little summery days out because I feel like it would put me in a really good mood and the weather and seeing those people would just make it great. Even theme parks, I guess. Anywhere, it doesn't have to be a major big day out, it can just be something. I hope that makes sense, just having nice cute little days out, even if it's no major thing, it's just something little and sweet and I think it'll be nice, especially because I want to spend time with family and stuff. I think it'd be quite nice. Another thing which is like kind of on the opposite scale of the stuff I've been talking about so far, like it's pretty much the exact opposite. I have had quite a few of these recently since I've finished university. I would like to have some of these throughout the summer as well and so would anyone, like of course they would. Basically, I like to have chill days, which everyone does, where you just sit for a day, watch TV, do nothing, just completely chill out and have a relaxed day. Yes, I've been having a lot of those recently, but I have just finished university, so it is nice to have days like that. And I obviously want to have them throughout the summer and leading up to going back to university and getting into the busy schedule again. It's always September to December is the busiest time of year for me. Obviously going back to university, going back into doing shows, just everything. That time of year is pretty busy but also one of my favourite times. If not, it's probably my favourite time of year, especially because I just love Christmas and Halloween, autumn, Christmas is really exciting for me. I kind of forget how much I love it until afterwards and then I'm like, oh man, I really do love that time of year. I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder, I've realised, so sorry if I look like I'm looking up a lot. I just keep forgetting that that's not where I look. I look at the lens it's just so confusing sorry about that yeah i think having some days to just wind down something that i really love to do because again i know i've mentioned it many times i am a very at home person so for me chill days are a necessity where i can just be at home keep myself to myself just be in my own little bubble i tend to do that a lot that's sort of how i like to spend a lot of my time um of course i love to see friends and family too but there are days where i do need that time so I need to do that, especially before the busy time of the year where I won't get as much time to do that. So I definitely want to continue to have more days where I can just completely relax and do nothing and not worry about doing anything and just sit and watch my telly all day. Obviously I'm not going to do it every day because it's not a good idea, <laughs> but it is something I enjoy to do and it keeps me happy and relaxed. So yeah stress-free chill out days who doesn't want that <laughs> and finally just a general point for the whole summer is to just have fun don't take things too seriously stop stressing i'm constantly stressing in my head there is so much going on so i want this summer to be about just enjoying it 
maybe stepping out of my comfort zone a few times, like going to Brighton with Jordan, that is stepping out of my comfort zone, doing more things that are fun and exciting and will make me really happy because I feel like that's what summer's all about. You get this big space of time and it's all completely free, especially when you've just finished university or college or school or work you go from having this really busy lifestyle to just absolutely nothing for like two or three months so it's like you're completely vulnerable to this amount of time and there's so much you can do so I want to use that to my advantage and just have fun, try new things, experiment, have a laugh, see friends, family, do what I want to do, make sure everything I'm doing is making me happy so if something doesn't isn't making me happy don't do it, if something excites me, the thought of something excites me, do it. Don't hold back. Just make this summer really fun and just all about me and what I love to do and obviously that sounds really egotistical, is that the word? I'm not good with big words. Makes it sound like, oh this summer's all about me, no one else. I mean make sure that my main priority is to keep myself happy because that is important and I just really really want to enjoy this summer and just be in my happy little bubble. Okay, so I think that is everything I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully I haven't missed anything out. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video very much. If you did, give it a big thumbs up because that really helps me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my videos. Also, subscribe if you haven't already because that would be amazing. And comment down below what you plan to do this summer. What are your favorite things to do in the summer? Are you going on holiday anywhere? or even if you just plan to do absolutely nothing for the whole summer, that's fine too. Let me know down below. Also, give me some video ideas for the summer, what you want to see this summer. How many times can I say summer in one sentence? <laughs> yeah, just let me know what you want to see throughout this summer period. And even planning ahead, why not? Let me know what you want me to film in Halloween and Christmas. I might have to film ahead anyway if I'm ridiculously busy. <laughs> and like I said towards the beginning of the video, if you want to follow me or find me on any of my social medias, they will all be linked down below. And yes, that is everything. So thank you so, so much for watching again. I'm so glad I'm finally getting back into the swing of things in terms of filming videos because I did have a period where I was a bit stuck. But now I'm starting to get a bit more positive and hopefully the ideas will come flooding back now and I'll be ready to film more for you. So I'll stop rambling now and let you get on with your day. Bye.